What's up, guys? Welcome to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas, episode 29. Let's show you what we're working with here. We are going to remodel a shower as well as a bathtub surround. So here is the existing shower. This was builder's grade, as you can see. Tile installed right over drywall, and unfortunately what happens with builder's grade showers is ultimately they fail within 20 years this uh, shower surrounds about 20 years old. As you can see, moisture got between the grout onto the drywall and tiles started to fall off the wall. So, easy demo. We're going to remove all of this tile as well as the fiberglass pan. Install large format tile with a recess shampoo niche. Tile up to the ceiling, jolly trim, and this will be a Schluter 100% waterproof shower. Here is the tub surround. We've already started to demo. Again, builder's grade, easy demo. Comes off the drywall without a problem. We are going to install large format up and over this fireplace, and we're going to trim it out with Jolly by Schluter. So, here we go. Bath and shower tile ideas, episode 29. Let's show you some progress video clips. happens sometimes you squeeze too hard with the pliers sometimes these clip spacers break rather than having to pull that tile off insert new wedges and new clips install the tile we use our level heads by RTC pop it in twist it and continue to tile is why you pre-plan your niche, location and height. So that you start with full tiles down here, bottom row, second row, third row, and the fourth row ends right at the sill of the recessed shampoo niche for our solid surface installation. Mitered niche. Okay, here we are, day three. Let's show you what we have up and installed so far and what we plan on doing today in the next couple of days. So, let's show you the shower here. So here is our shower. Everything's waterproofed. Of course, we've got our ledger board up here. Our corner bench installed and waterproofed as well. We have the back wall of tile up, 12 by 24 high gloss porcelain, 12 by 20 recessed shampoo niche. So here's the idea. We're going to miter the sides top, have a nice mosaic inlay in the back of the niche. And here is our solid surface quartz. This will be installed for the sill, for the bench top, 
as well as the curb, which will go well with the wainscot that we're going to install around this bathtub here. We're going to remove all this drywall, prep, waterproof, the surround, install tile, straight up, straight across, trim it out with Schluter Jolly, and all the way down here. Of course, we're going to prep and install tile on the face of the tub as well as the deck here, and this quartz will also be installed on the deck end of the tub. So, here we go. Let's get to work. We're going to try to complete this shower today other than the final row of tiles. So, two side walls, install the pan tile, and then tomorrow install the last row as well as cap off this bench here with bevel cuts on each side. So, here we go guys. Time to get to work. Okay, day five. Let's show you what we have so far and uh, what's left to do, really. Bath and shower tile ideas, episode 29. Did our flood test, everything is good. Uh, we'll start with the shower here, show you what we got so far and what we have left to do, and then uh, we're gonna get to work. Okay, all wall tile is installed. Our Schluter Jolly is installed. We're going to install our pan tile. The last row and miter or bevel our base face. We're also going to install the top left and right mitered sides of the niche. Again, this is the solid surface that will be going on the sill, on the bench top as well as the curb, and that will be done on Monday. So yeah, the shower is looking fantastic. We'll come over here, this is the uh, tub surround, all waterproofed, ready to go. We're gonna tile this today as well. Unfortunately, we have an off-center gas fireplace. Not quite sure why that's not centered, but hey, sometimes you gotta deal with this kind of stuff. Regardless, our layout will be centered of the wall back wall here but yeah 12 by 24 we're going to tile it up to that line there trim it out with chrome schluter jolly it'll be mitered at that corner here the inside corners and yeah it's gonna look fantastic again the top of the uh, tub deck will be the gray quartz and we're gonna tile the face here with large format as well so there it is for day five We'll probably have this wrapped up in about two and a half more days. All right guys, enough talk. We're gonna get right to work.